Welcome, bienvenidos, Ongi e Torri. I will speak about the data structures, discipline with Python. I'm a professor, computer science professor at FATEC. FATEC is a public university at Sao Paulo, Brazil. I love teaching. And data structures as a difficult discipline to teach is also a difficult discipline to students. It's also a difficult discipline for my university. My thesis is C language as have a problem with syntax. I like C language very much, but sometimes C have a bit of dangerous problems to students. I love data structures because algorithms, algorithms have a lot of independence of um, operating systems and languages. For example, binary search, the number of steps or measure sorts are independent of uh, operating systems and languages. The number of steps is, is, is the same in the Windows, Linux, or in C, or in Python. Data structures at my university, FATEC. 2008 is a bad year for me because we have this number of students retain it. But with Python, in this year, only 10% we have uh, improvement. Uh, with the change of the C language to the Python language. In this talk, I will show uh, the improvements with some codes. Um, the summary, 2008, retained of students. And when I submitted the talk, uh, we have an uh, improvement of 12%. And now, when I finish my semester, we have uh, two points of improvement. In Brazil, we have a national contest, a national uh, one to five grade, my university received the, the maximum. Um, we have uh, uh, received the contest uh, programming um, first last year, and is a good before the change to Python and 2009. Some details. In 2009, we moved all the classes to laboratory classes. We have four uh, classes uh, for week, no chalkboard classes, only laboratory classes. Uh, we have four 
lobby projects for semesters. Our lobby are in Python. We introduce a um, strange name, uh, Big Brother. And um, some students of best students could help the other students as coaches. We maintain C language only for proposal to compare the algorithms. All the algorithms are in two languages, C to show the details, and Python to show the essence, to show the uh, essence of the, the, the algorithms. But the students, the exercise are submitted in Python, the project, projects are submitted in Python. The C, the C language only to show the details um, only. Why Python? The majority of the university in USA are using Python to introduction courses of programming because usability is a problem for introduction to programming. I think usability is a problem for data structure courses also. Donald Knut, in an interview of people of ACM, say the most common fault in computer class is to emphasize the rules of specific programming language instead of, of to emphasize the algorithms that are being expressed in those languages. Sometimes the teachers are struggling um, in syntax problems of C languages or Java languages instead of teaching the algorithms that's the most, most important. Talk ship, show me the code. I will show a lot of the code of my course. First, in Python, variables are just names. All the variables are pointers. A42, A Python are pointers. If you have a list, if you have a segment 42 to A index 0, A, B are pointers to the same list, A0, B changes to because A and B are pointers to the same object. If you need a new object, you need to explicitly create a new object. It's good to a professor, to a teacher, to explicitly, explicitly create a new object is good to teaching. Python is cool. There are big, big integers. In Python, Python 3, there are natural division. In C language, I think that is strange. One divide two is zero. For beginners, it's, it's a bit strange. There are cool 
things like uh, multiple assignments. There are no need to a third uh, variable. A, uh, B, to swap A uh, for B. O, manipulate uh, year, month, day, like this. O, uh, the middle, like this list. O, phones, Matsanori, and put these phones is a uh, happiness to manipulate data with Python. Indentation. The programming activity should be viewed as a process of creating works of literature, writing to be read. The C language have some indentation problems like this. If you put this, you print only one text. This is a problem also. It's a false indentation. This indentation confuses the students. It's not a problem only in education, but also in corporations like Apple. There's a code in Apple. Some guys go to fail, whoop, go to fail. It's a crazy. <laughs> bracket, bracket, go to fail, go to fail, who? Go to fail. C language has some problems that is very dangerous, not only for students, but for corporations. Recursion, to understand the recursion, we must first understand the recursion. Fibonacci have a problem, Fibonacci recursive. We solve this using a dictionary, for example, but Python have a LRU cache we can also show this high level to students. Students create some solutions to deck to being problems because the dynamic uh, aspect of the types. Linked lists. The implementation of linked lists in C language has some uh, details. For example, we need to have a head in order to avoid the special case to analyze the empty list. This head, we need to put the reverse order three to one, the linked list. We don't need to do this in, in Python. Um, queues, we have this matrix, this node three, we need to calculate the distances of the node three to the other nodes. It's node three to node four uh, have 
range of the, this, the minimum distance. We calculated this in C language by these algorithms. C language have uh, some issues, some problems, because the int star that return it in this function, int star in C language have two meanings. It's a pointer for one integer. On the other hand, is a vector of a dynamic number of elements. Sometimes it's a bit confusing to students. In Python, it's a more clear algorithm. It's more direct and readable. Stacks. We need to see, see the well-formed expression. The equivalent of this C language algorithm in Python, it's much more clear than the C language is a direct way to see the essence. Selection sort. The manipulation of the index to see the minimum of the vector and swap for the first is a bit more complex than this algorithm is equivalent in Python. Of course, we need to see the complexity. But if the complexity or the number of the step is the same, it's better to use the more readable algorithm to students. Quick sort. The quick sort is a very difficult algorithm to teach if you use, if you You see the same C language, you have a pivot, you need to put all the smaller elements as well to one side, all the higher elements to the other sides. In Python language, we have a list comprehension. It's more, much more clear, uh, clear to the students the concept of the smaller, of the higher. We have a pivot. The smaller elements is a list, is a, the one side list. The higher elements is the other side. And we solve the problem of the in recursive manner with the smaller and the higher. In C language, it's not clear the essence of the algorithm. In the Python, we see the essence of the algorithm. This, that this is the most important. Some exercises um, 
like the word count. We have a text. We need to count how many occurrences of the word have in one text. In C language, uh, if you have to count the numbers of occurrence of Alice of in Wonderland, is uh, SMS. We need to tokenize the memory allocation to have uh, many pointers. Is is a crazy to code this program in C language. In Python, uh, for a teacher, is Python is good because all the code uh, is put in one, one slide. <laughs> Word count program in Python is an uh, exercise uh, in 10 minutes. We open the book, Alice in Wonderland. We read, remove the special characters, and we use a dictionary to count the, the words. That's enough. Simple, direct, and explicit. Some projects. I, the first project that my students works is a comparison with uh, merge sort, quick sort, selection sort, and native sort, uh, Python, native sort, is a good practical uh, project. The students like very much because the time of the native sort is so uh, Good, uh, the team sort, the modification of merge sorts. The second pra practical project is a simplification of Arthur Mellon games. Uh, we have uh, some girls, some guys. We need to arrange a marriage of the girls to, to guys. Uh, we have uh, knights. Uh, we need to put the knights uh, in a table. Um, the code to have made the enumerations of the guides is a, a, a code to to generate the subsequence, subsequence, uh, subsequence, um, lex, subsex, lex, lexical sequence of the is use the yield operator to improvement is good to students to. Uh, know the difference of return of and the yield. The third project is to detect the binary regions. Uh, this region is connected. This run is connected. Uh, it's a problem and simple to announce, but difficult to to. Resolve is a cool project. And the last is a graph theory uh, project. Uh, it's a heuristic 
to solve the minimum degree greedy to maximum independent set uh, problem. Uh, one, two, four, and six uh, is the maximum independent set of the, this graph. Um, the implementation of this problem in Python is not so hard. I will show is 20 lines of code. In C language is uh, 500 lines of code. Conclusions, there is a trade-off to choose a language to teach. C is good for optimization. To see the details, the low level, but Python is also good to show the essence of the algorithms, the readability, the high level. But if the algorithm is the same, it, the number of the steps, the complexity, premature optimization is evil also in teaching data structures. Thank you. Thank you very much, Fernando. Um, do you have any questions? No, no questions? <laughs> okay, then. Thank you all very much.